Hello, hello, and welcome back to my garage for another update. This one is called the building update. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just dive right into it and get a look at everything. I have everything kind of laid out. But first things first, as you've seen, we were coming into town and we're going to have to come to this building over here on the right hand side with the eight to two. And let's take a look at everything and see how this actually works. So first things first, when you come in here, it's going to be pretty dark. You're not going to be able to see too much, uh, but don't worry, you can build lights in here like I did and turn them on. So the first things about the building update is you're able to actually build anything anywhere on the map that you like. You could build right inside of existing structures if you like, as we just saw with these lights. Uh, but you're gonna have to come down to this little shop and you're gonna be presented with three boxes, a doors and windows box, roof materials box, and a wall materials box. And then once you purchase them, the boxes will spawn right behind you. And it is worth noting that each box is $500 and they each contain 10 items. Okay. Uh, but all you have to do is go ahead and right click on that box. It'll pull up the thing. And then you just use your mouse wheel to scroll through all of the items. And if you use your up and down arrow keys, you can bring the items closer and further away from you like so and then if you press the number one key it will allow you to snap and the number two key will give you horizontal snapping and the three key will give you vertical snapping so it makes it a little bit easier to build and then on the walls you'll see all the different textures that you could paint all of the different pieces so let's just go ahead and do an example okay and we're going to use the window as an example on how to paint but let's look at some of the textures first. Uh, we're going to take a look at the wall textures here. As we can see, we have this kind of wood panel. Um, we have some horizontal paneling here in a white and then kind of like a purple color, a blue, green, yellow, this kind of beigey color, a dark brown, a red. There's also a traditional brick look, a gray brick look, and a darker red. And then this here looks either like plaster or some stucco. There are a few different roof variants. These would be kind of like metal roofing, uh, but we have that kind of steel color, the copper, red, and this uh, teal turquoise looking color, or these might be more like slate roofing. And then we have these other shingles here, which has a rounded pattern to them, and then more of your traditional roof shingle kind of patterns to them. And then we have some flooring here. We have some uh, traditional stone kind of bricks, some concrete, a darker and a lighter version. We have some stone tiles, a light and a dark version. Then we have just some regular plywood color. Uh, and then we have some vertical paneling uh, with this orange kind of wood, dark wood, more of a birch wood, a gray wood. And then there is some of these wooden ones with this kind of pattern to them uh, and a dark and lighter version. And then your kind of diamond steel version. And then up here would be kind of like the ceiling colors, uh, which comes in a variety of different wood colors, that brown, white, red, this dark kind of black looking, another brown, and a kind of lighter brown color of wood. Now you might think these are all for just the floor, all the ceiling, all for the roofs and the walls, but in fact, these colors can be painted onto anything. So we could take, say like this piece of the roof here, uh, we could get some brick and then maybe some of these tiles, right? Um, you just kind of click on them to buy them. And then they're going to stack up into these little boxes. And then these little boxes are indeed pocketable. Uh, where these large ones are not pocketable. So you're going to have to make sure you bring down a trailer or something to haul all of, the, all of these. As each one only does have 10. Uh, but like say if we pick up this brick pattern, um, you could paint the outside of the window brick. Um, and then you could paint the inside uh, this color, obviously this doesn't make much sense, but it's just as an example, this roof tile can be painted onto here and you could actually even paint the windows, the windows themselves. Um, it kind of looks nice with this, um, metal roofing pattern as it does kind of look like shutters. Um, but yeah, you could paint each individual part separately, which is pretty, pretty nice. Um, it really gives a whole nother level of customization. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, obviously those are some uh, bad examples. You'd probably want to use like a wood and then a dark wood, uh, for this light switch 
to make it look more like a light switch, right? Uh, but yeah, the, the options are completely endless. And then just so I don't forget, if you do mess up on your build, there is a hammer available to buy for $42. Now you just purchase that puppy, right click it, and you can destroy whatever you build. But it does not go back into the box. So once it's gone, it is gone. Let's go ahead and go take a look at the items individually. So starting off with the wall materials box, it does come with a very small wall, small, medium, and a large variance. Um, it also has the door frame, two window frames, a small and a large. It also comes with two garage frames, a small and a large garage. And then we do have just a plain concrete block, uh, but it doesn't matter. You can paint that block whatever color you want and paint all the sides. Uh, same with this. You can paint the front one color and then the back another color. Uh, but it also comes with a ramp. And then there's some more floor pieces, or you could use these for whatever you like, really. Um, but there's a skinny variant and a thicker variant. It does come in a small, medium, and long shape. Now here is the large panel, but it only comes in the thick version. Now moving on, the wall materials box also comes with some pillars, a short version, a long version, but they come in two variants a skinny and a thick post. Now it is worth noting that the short version also comes in a horizontal angled piece as well, where the tall ones do not come with these horizontal pieces. And then moving on, we do have a, looks like a 45 degree triangle, a small one. And then this one comes with a left and a right that are separate. Uh, same with the 30 degree angle here. I believe this is 30 degrees and this is 45. That box also includes a little staircase, which is kind of cool. Now moving on to the door materials box. This does come with a small garage door and the large garage door. And as we can see it here, uh, built into the garage wall panel, it kind of just budges right in between. Uh, but they are open and closable, which is really nice. And with the windows, we have two small windows, the one we here with this little square pattern and a plain window and then two large windows with those same patterns. Now in the door box also includes the hose, which is really nice because this can be placed literally anywhere on the map and you can wash your car with no problem. And as well as the light switch and two lights, we have the square light and a long light. And with the door box as well, it comes with these concrete staircases. Now moving on to the roof materials. So we have 30 degree and 45 degree angled roofs. Uh, we have this small kind of skinny version and this fatter version. It's worth noting on the skinny version, uh, they do have these lips on them. So this would be what you'd put at the front and back end of the pitches of your roof. And then this piece here is what you would use to kind of fill in the in-between as this wider piece does not have any kind of lip on it. Uh, but we do have that in the 45 degree angle and the 30 degrees. And now we also have some roof corners uh, right here and then a concave version in the 30 degree and 45 degree. And we also it also includes these really small pieces uh, with the 30 and 45s. Moving on, there is also these little edge pieces. Uh, this would be kind of what would run along the edge here. And they do have the lip on them like the other skinny versions, but it does come in a short and long 30 degree and 45 degrees, short and long left and right. You don't want to just use this one for this, hit R and flip it around. Otherwise, you're going to have that flat on the other side. Now, moving down, we have these kind of filler pieces in the 30 degree and 45, a shorter and a longer piece. As you can see, these are much wider. These don't contain the lips as well. And this is what you would use to kind of fill in the middle parts, right? Indeed, indeed. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the textures and paints that are included. I have this wall set up right here, uh, but let's kind of take a look at them. So we have these horizontal panels uh, in yellow, green, blue, red, this purple color, this lighter, whatever color that is, a dark brown and a white. So these are all kind of the horizontal housing uh, side panels. 
or whatever they're called anyway. And then there is a just kind of a plain wood. Here is a stucco kind of color uh, or plaster. I think it's stucco though. Um, and then it also has three different bricks as we've seen on the inside, but here's a little bit of a better view, gray, red, and then this kind of traditional brick color. And then we'll just kind of go through and look at all of all of those textures, but on the actual floor itself. And we'll just kind of start down here at the end. This is going to be with nothing painted. Uh, there's the diamond concretes, uh, stone tiles, the stone bricks, these different woods, the slat woods. This here, it's a little bit hard to see. The bloom is really high, but it's this pattern, but kind of a really light um kind of a white color it's a little hard to see with the bloom uh, but here is the same woods and these different colors here uh, these are technically the ceilings uh, but they look kind of nice for the floor this would be the metal pieces uh, the shingles the roof pieces and so on and so forth and it is worth noting that you know whatever you put on each side you can change them to different colors uh, so you don't have to necessarily do the whole thing. You could do the tops one color, the sides another color. Um, the options are really, really endless. Now that's going to be it pretty much for the building update. Now you can build pretty much anywhere on the map. It doesn't matter. Um, and we're going to give a little bit of an example of how to build. Uh, there's a couple things that I want to note here. Now moving over to these floor bits. Now if we lay this down, um, they snap in really nice. Uh, the building mechanics actually work really well, uh, especially for being the first iteration. Uh, but if we place this down and then we push R to rotate and then we place it down again, that is going to change the direction of your, your pattern that you place. So we put that one like that and then it switches to that. So you have to be mindful when you're placing down your floor pieces um, that you're not hitting R unless you're intentionally doing so, right? Uh, so yeah, definitely be mindful when placing your floors um, as you could have a hot mess on your hands. Anyway, uh, that's going to be pretty much it for the building aspect of things. I think I've covered most of it. Okay, and I forgot to mention there is another part of the update. Uh, that comes along with this, and it is going to be a new LAD variant. Well, it's more like some new LAD parts, and it's going to be the front left, front right fender, the front panel, this grill, and these lights, along with the bumpers, this trim that you see on the sides, around the trunk area, and uh, this little piece here. And there is some light trims as well for these lights. Um, here is the other bumper that comes in this update. It is a white bumper with these little black bumper pads, uh, front and rear. And it also includes this rear window piece as well, which will look really nice on a rally car. Um, and also a safety net. This will go on the front left and front right windows, but not the rear windows. So yeah, that is pretty much it. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the trims for the lights real quick and take a look at the car a little bit more slowly um, as it is really nice looking with all of this chrome trim. We got the chromed out mirrors, uh, inside mirror. Oh, and the I forgot to mention the windshield and the back window as well is uh, new as they do have chrome around them now. Uh, but as you can see with my car, let's turn the headlights on real quick. And as you can see with this one, we kind of have that sad looking car right now, uh, but it does come with this kind of left angled one, a right angled one. There is a straight piece like so. And then there is just a plain chrome piece that will go around it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this update. I think I covered everything. Um, I didn't build anything yet. Uh, I am excited to build. And then if we angle them that way, he looks a little bit angry, which is kind of cool. Anyway, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for everything. I think I covered all the basis of the update. Okay, and I forgot to mention that there were new taillights. Uh, as you can see here, these ones versus those ones. 
I also forgot to mention that you can now destroy your entire building to clear way for new construction, which will just completely remove it and you can build a brand new garage right there, as well as you can import and export buildings. Haven't quite figured out how this part works yet, uh, but yeah, I'm not too sure. You can import and export, so you'll be able to share your creations with your friends. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one, you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And of course, we will see you guys in the next one. Later on, everybody.